So as part of Lewisham Council, we have a crime enforcement and regulation service, and that service is where... Oh, can't hear. Okay. Yeah. So... Yeah, I think right. Sorry. Yeah, is that okay? Um, so, in Lewisham Council, we have a crime enforcement and regulation service, and that service is where people who feel they are a victim of hate crime, they will bring up, and that team will investigate accordingly certain complaints that are made. Um, but we also have um, third-party reporting centres, in which Lewisham Council is one. And as you might know, um, a third-party reporting centre is a place where a victim of hate crime feels safe enough to report the hate crime without having to go directly to the police. Um, and part of um, Lewisham's third-party reporting sites, we have um, Goldsmith University, Goldsmith Student Union, um, we have African Advocacy Foundation, Catford Synagogue, um, Lewisham Islamic Centre, just to name a few of different organisations coming together to help tackle hate crime um, together. Um, also as a council we have an action plan to tackle hate crime, so this is updated regularly, um, so any activity that we do we prioritise um, and work with our partners at Goldsmiths to address any issues that arise. Um, and we also have a safe neighbourhood board which um, they have a hate crime working group and the council and other statutory organisations again such as the police um, sit on this board with community groups and we talk about rising concerns, any issues and we address and look at the stats which are um, on the Met Police dashboard and that is how we, um, so this is just a, a snapshot of what the stats sort of look like. Um, and the good thing about the Met dashboard is that you can only look at your locality, um, Lewisham here, but you can also see neighbouring boroughs such as Greenwich, Lambeth, and you can also see um, London as a whole and what the stats are, and it breaks it down into the different strands um, of hate crime, so you can really get an idea of um, what is happening locally in your area. Um, I also, uh, we do a lot of cross-London community collaboration. Um, I lead, um, along with other hate crime leads throughout London, the Pan-London um, Working Group. And so with that in mind, we have, there's 32 London boroughs and we aim to have 32 professionals around the table to see how are we, in each local authority, addressing hate crime. What are we doing? What issues do we have in each borough? What is happening somewhere else? They might be able to help us. And I've got um, a colleague, Benedict, here from Tower Hamlets. She's in the room somewhere. Um, and you know they've got a lot of resources and it's always great to share best practice of what is happening um, in other local authorities so we can work together to tackle hate crime collectively. Um, um, this is uh, just a little snapshot of the third party reporting um, online for Lewisham Council. Um, it's a really straightforward form to fill out um, if you do want to make that report and it goes directly to the team for them to investigate um, and if, if you wish to go feed the information to the police then that the council will do that um, and the police will get in contact with the uh, victim um, within 48 hours. Over to you. Okay, thank you. Um, so in terms of Goldsmiths, Goldsmiths uh, it, 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 when it comes to New Cross, actually, some, some people live in uh, New Cross and don't notice that there is a university on the step door. But actually, we are a 10,000 um, student community uh, in Goldsmiths, and, and that community is very, very diverse. So when we're thinking about hate crime and the characteristics that are protected by the law under hate crime, um, that, that's very relevant to Goldsmiths. 70% of our students are female, and we have 40% um, of our students consider themselves to be uh, BME. And likewise, for other uh, characteristics in terms of LGBT, transgender, um, the numbers are really, really high. So we are based in Lewisham, and I think in terms of hate crime, uh, we are lucky in be, to be able to tap into the, the, the existing resources that Meg has just uh, alluded to. Uh, so in terms of our involvement, it goes back to 2017. 
following the referendum and following some of the attacks that happened at the time. And that raised concerns on campus. Students started talking about hate crime. And um, that concern obviously became a discussion amongst the, the community and, uh, between staff and students. Um, so while it was a concern, at the same time, we realized there's a significant opportunity there in, in kind of expanding that talks internally within our community. But also we realized there is uh, a lot of uh, expertise external as well. So that created um, an opportunity for collaboration. But at the same time, the, of the Office for Student, which is the body that looks after the higher education uh, pr provision, um, were providing catalyst funds for projects like hate crime. And we were able to uh, put a bit forward for that and we were successful. But prior to that, we were all already successful in terms of tackling sexual har harassment on campus. So there was a lot of good example that we were able to bring along to, to this particular uh, project that we had. So the project w through the Office of a Student was a, a one-year project, but Goldsmith's commitment was permanent. So we were not here just to kind of to, to deliver a project. Our commitment was uh, to have a third-party reporting center on a permanent basis on um, through the university as well as the student union and we have been able to work with a lot of uh, higher education providers and through evaluating some of those wider projects and um, the office for students spent uh, around 4.8 million on these three projects over the last three years and Goldsmiths played a big big part because of our involvement in the community and we've been able to provide some significant feedback and good practice for other education providers to learn as well um, and that in itself it helped us to uh, set the scenes uh, on kind of embarking on changing the culture on campus and raising awareness between um, different groups of students, uh, staff, communities, making sure people, uh, people are aware of what to do if they have experienced um, hate crime or hate, inc hate incidents. So we've been lucky to, to uh, raise a lot of awareness leaf through our leaflets, through our communities, but having access to the third party reporting center, but also through Mark, we've been able to uh, deliver a, a range of uh, events and sessions together to make sure the community is aware about hate crime uh, reporting. Uh, but the, the key message being really, this is about uh, an embarkment to change the culture and how we can do that as a community. So I think that the greater collaboration that was mentioned by, by Meg is, is important. So, and I've mentioned about sustainability plans, so it's kind of been uh, going forward. But I think the important part is that this is a sensitive topic. It's a topic where it attracts uh, uh, a lot of uh, kind of avenues from politicians to, to police, policy and all that. And we can only change that uh, by working together and overcoming those challenges. And I think that's been key for us um, but thinking about policy and thinking about bigger, the bigger picture sometimes can be confusing for students. So what we have done at Goldsmiths is really try and simplify that message in to say the third party reporting centre is really here to provide a safe place for anyone who have witnessed uh, or experienced a hate crime <coughs> to come and talk to us about their experience if they want to. And access information about the reporting mechanisms of where to get, um, where to get um, support with, with reporting hate crimes, whether it is through the police, whether it is through the local authority, or even just talking about those options and maybe not reporting it there and then because they don't feel confident enough. But I work uh, for student support services, and I think the last strand is really, really important because as student support services, our role is to support students. And I think we know sometimes people are not confident to report hate crimes, but they live with that experience. So what we have been doing as part of this is making sure there's a support package available for students and staff. But our third party reporting center all, uh, also uh, includes the local residents. So we do refer and signpost uh, those individuals to other organizations too. So these are some of the events that we've run and it, it, we've been able to participate. I think a day like this for, for Goldsmiths, for example, we can host everyone here. Why not? You know, we've got free rooms. Students are not here. So it's bringing people together to share some of that idea. We've been able to do a few of those events. Um, we, we've worked together to deliver uh, kind of an event in, in the uh, local shopping center, working with the police, 
working with uh, other third party reporting center, um, including students. Um, so all these are really contributing to making sure that people are aware about their options in terms of reporting, but at the same time receiving support. Um, so in Lewisham, we are really lucky to have access to all these resources that we have. But one of the things, I think my colleague at the, at the end, Tara, is um, kind of coordinating from the police side. We, we, in the last meeting, we were criticizing ourselves in, in terms of being self-critical and said, what can we do to do things differently? What can we learn from other boroughs? Mm -hmm. And I think that's the kind of things that we have started doing to improve what we have. Ultimately, it's about providing a better service for our students, uh, our local community, and making sure they have access to support. Thank you. I think it's a short kind of bringing a lot of events into 10 minutes. It's, it's a challenge, but um, thank you for listening. <laughs>